A blessed day, viewers and subscribers. Welcome back to Mix Up Boss with another video. All right, enough people want to reach out to me. You can WhatsApp me at 876-277-3254 or send me a SMS text and I will kindly return back your message or phone call. All right, so today, a lady from UK has shared a story with me where one of our friends set her up with a Jamaican man. The Jamaican man is 70 year old. Mountain, a little cleanly, you know, 70 year old. And the man managed to scam her. Can you believe that? A 70 year old man from Jamaica scam a British lady? Alright. I put her up on the phone now. I want to listen. Oh, him do it. And you be careful of some of them big, big, big money. <laughs> and every young youth alone has scammed them coming in all ages. Like this video. Make we drive. Make we listen. Good morning, good morning and welcome to my show. I used to have a story to share with me about uh, what you call it. Ungrateful man or what you call him? It's not even ungrateful because he's disappeared. Oh, oh. He's a scammer then. He's a scammer. All right. So talk yes. to me or you meet him and or you transfer. Okay. A very good friend of mine. We're all Jamaican, but I've lived in England since I was a child. And she's a very good friend of mine for almost 20 years. So she knows everything about me, my history, everything, love life, everything, friends, everything, my children, everything. Mm -hmm. And then in January of this year, she said to, she rang me and she said you know i have a cousin in jamaica and when i talked to him i'm just lonely i'm not looking woman or anything like that i'm just really lonely he won't talk to you and i'll give you your number so i said that's fine i'm a talker i love to talk he can talk to me but be, you know that i'm not looking for no one and i asked her how old he was and she said she's not sure but he's close enough to her age group anyway he called almost immediately. It was a Sunday and I'm in the kitchen cooking and whatever. So I said, you know what? I'll call you back because right now I'm, I'm busy. So I called him back and immediately he took the phone to the, the, the upstairs, the landing passageway upstairs of his house. He's in Mandeville, a massive house. And I saw a young man walking up the stairs quite slowly and he turned the phone around because we were talking FaceTime. And I saw the young man and I could see he has disability. Uh -huh. So the young man came into the room and sat down next to him on a sofa in the bedroom. And, you know, I said, does he speak? Because that was part of my job. I was a, a teacher for children with learning disability. And at weekends, I work with adults with learning disability. So I have an affection for, for people like that, you know. So I said, does he speak? And he says, no. Um, anyway, each time that I'd speak to the man, he made sure that the boy was in plain sight that I could see him. And I say, hello, and I call his name and I say, hi, and he waved at me. So he got used to seeing my face because we always talk FaceTime. And then as we're talking and there's it's every day he calls me, I could see he looks sad, curtains are drawn. This is 12 o'clock in the day in Jamaica. So I said, why are you in your room? And you say you have a big house and you're just there and he's got, um, security monitor that he looks to see who's at the gate, who is downstairs because the lady that look after the child he monitor the lady to see what she's doing. So anyway, I said to him I'm not interested in anything romantic like that and then he told me his age. I said to him, I'm in my 60s he said, this was January my birthday was coming up February and I told him how old I was going to be and he said his birthday is March and he's going to be 70. And I said, with all due respect, I don't like men that age. As much as I'm in my 60s, I like younger men. It's just what I like. I don't like older men. And he says he likes younger women too. And we're talking, we're talking. And he's telling me, uh, all, over a period of weeks, he's telling me about girls in Jamaica, what they do with him and whatever the disgusting thing that these old men seem to like, little 18 year old little tiki tiki girls them and then he brought up the subject of money now, he told me how much his pension was from Canada I forgot to tell you, he used to live in Canada for 41 or 42 years had a business in Canada oh. and a wife in Canada oh. so the disabled child that he has, he has him half the year and then he takes him back to Canada oh. to the wife, they're not yet divorced so anyway, he's telling me about the girls in Jamaica, what I'm doing, whatever. Then when he touched on to the money now, he mentioned his pension. And I said, I don't discuss money, so I won't tell you how much my pension is. Yeah. So 
it was a surprise to me. Why are you just talking to someone that you want to know about their financial state? True. And then he said to me, he went into the bank on one occasion and they encouraged him to make an investment. This is a bank in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. And he lost um, something like nine million, mm -hmm. which was his money for his pension to last him the rest of his life or whatever. And I said, how are you as a businessman and a former businessman in Canada walked into that, into a bank and they just, and then I just started putting the pieces together and I said, you know what, with the ticky ticky girls them that him like and what they do to him, mm -hmm. I bet that's where the money went. It didn't, the bank didn't. I got, I'm just going to go ask you how can right. you investment that for those nine million. The money so. went into a hairy bank. <laughs> that's where I, that's where I figured it out, right? And a hairy bank in here and a guy girl and start shaving. <laughs> So, <laughs> well, 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 whatever bank, skinhead bank, hairy <laughs> bank, but it wasn't a money bank, right? <laughs> anyway, he said to me, no, one day now, he said he crashed his car. He's got two cars. And he said he, he reversed onto what looked like some bushes, but underneath the bushes was a, a pipe and it hit the un under side of the car. <laughs> By two days' time, mm -hmm. he sent me a picture. The other car, the whole of the front was, was mash up. Mm -hmm. He said it was in a car park somewhere. I don't know if it was supermarket or whatever. And someone hit it. Every and car that's how he insured. found it. Every car is supposed right. to be insured. So that's what I said to him. Claim mm -hmm. it on the insurance. Right. He said it would cost too much to pay. And mm -hmm. you know I need my cars because... My son has seizures and I have to be able to get him to the, the, the hospital and whatever. Mm. So, hold on there, hold on there, Carla. I, hold on there, yeah. I like how you talk the story. Just to inform viewers again, because sometimes they might ask the age. We might, we know the age where it is, but repeat back the man age. He's 70 and I'm in my 60s. 60s, right. So, on the year that viewers so 70 year old, she had talked about 70. Right. No young boy, right. I think. So, I want to right. get that clear. Continue. So, this is a businessman. I'm right. treating him as a respectable right. businessman. Right. All right? Yeah. All right. So, then he told me about the cars and he said, no, he don't want to go through the insurance because it's going to cost him too much. Would I mind lending him mm -hmm. so he can fix at least one of the cars? Mm -hmm. And because I, every time I talk to him, I see this boy, Mix Up Boss. Mm -hmm. And because I have a liking for people with disability, I don't know what it is. Mm -hmm. I just thank God that my children are fine. So mm -hmm. there for the grace of God could right. be me. Right. And I think, you know, anyway, he told me he need 300,000. To Ooh. fix the car. 200,000? Yep. yep. And you know, I went and oh. I sent him the money. The same day, you know. Ooh. The same, the, the same day, Mix Up Boss, I sent the money. Jeez, um. Right. Ooh. Two days later, he's talking Ooh. to me. He's Ooh. back in the room, depressed with the curtains drawn. And I said, what's wrong with you? Oh. He said, he said, a few months ago, I borrowed some money from my niece who lives in Canada. Mm. And the arrangement was for me to pay her back October. But all of a sudden, no, she rang me and she said she wants it back, she wants it back, she's got something to do. So I then had to borrow it from a friend in Jamaica to pay her back because she's my niece, I don't want no problem with her. But now the man in Jamaica that he's borrowed the money from is asking for his money. So what did he do? He blocked the man from his phone. So the man is coming to the house and it's an electric gate, so you have to be buzzed in. It's somewhere in Mandeville, I don't know where. So the man is shouting abuse from the gate. So now he says to me, he wants to get rid of this man. So can I send him the money now to pay oh, this man? Jesus. So I said, how much is it? He said, uh, it must be 135000 okay. So I said to him, you really, you really think I'm an idiot? <laughs> Only two days ago, I sent you money to repair the car. If this man was on your yeah. case, why didn't you take some of that money uh, and pay the man? Uh, Him say, if I, nev if I knew you wasn't going to help me, I wouldn't tell you my business. Mm -hmm. Ring. I said, oh, because straight away you got attitude, attitude now. Attitude, ring. Mm -hmm. So then I realized there's a garage that he go to and sit with this man sometime and talk to the only place that I know he go. Mm -hmm. And then I real I put together Mix Up Boss that mm -hmm. he didn't crash his car. He took a picture. Know, from the garage right your friend me know everything we are going, go and, talk. and send the picture to me for me to feel sorry for him oh my god and you see from the minute now that i said to him i'm not sending him no more money right he still was calling me mm -hmm. 
but he was giving me attitude. You know, say I thought he was a nice person, mm -hmm. but you're not a nice person. I said, when did I suddenly become not nice? Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. So he said, no. Then all of a sudden now I realized that he blocked me. Mm -hmm. He blocked me from the phone. So the cousin that introduced him to me now, mm -hmm. I phoned her and I told her all about it. Right. I did tell her about the money. Mm -hmm. And she said, it's up to you what you do. I grew up with him in Jamaica. He's my cousin. So when I told her the, the, the 135 that I said no, he said, one day if my cousin would lend me. So I phoned her and said, be prepared. I'm going to phone you and ask you. She said, make him do, do you know, some explicit word. That she said, make him phone and ask me for nothing. But he didn't. He didn't because I don't think he's going to ask family. Mm. He's going to keep it outside of family. So the man blocked me now. And I said to her that he's blocked me, but he's told her that I blocked him. So I said, mm -hmm. would it make sense that some you, somebody owe you money and you block them? Mm. When people talking to you, must pick sense out of nonsense. Mm -hmm. It must be the other way around. And then he had to take his son back to, to, to Canada for April. And she called me, I called her, and she said, you know, I just got off the phone with him, and he said he's heading back for Jamaica now to tell me that he's going back to Jamaica. So I said, well, he's blocked me, so why is it sending a message? But he wanted the friend to think that we're still communicating, mm. which I already told her that we're not. Mm -hmm. So anyway now, she said... A few weeks later, I said to her, you know, I'm going to Jamaica and I'm going to go to the police station in Mandeville and I'm going to report what this man's done because it's fraud. Mm -hmm. I've got his phone number, but I don't have an address. Mm -hmm. So she said to me, how you know him, him, him there, Jamaica? So I said, well, I don't know. He just got back because he's not due to go back to Canada until October when he picks up the son again. So that led me to believe that they had a discussion that he was going to leave because people are bothering him for money. He's blocking people and people coming to the gate and whatever, so he's, he's going to run. So when I went to Jamaica and I reported it to the police at Mandeville, she said I could have reported it from England because they're, so, they're cutting down on this fraudulent behaviour mm. that you don't have to come to Jamaica to report it. Okay. Anywhere that you are, whatever country, you mm. can report it and they will link up with the Jamaican. But, but the way you're, the way you're, the way you're upset about it, you just tell us so you're rather come down, fly down and deal with it. Yeah, mm. I was coming for a family occasion anyway. Anyway, right. But I thought I, I, would, I would go. Mm -hmm. and anyway, so she was nice and she understood and she said, you know, I can, I can see that it wasn't no love thing because a lot of things, they, they use love to get to woman. I said, no, 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 no. I'm not fool fool like that. And I wasn't attracted to him like that. I was just being a good friend, mm. really. It was nothing to do with that. So anyway, he's, as far as I know, he's still in Canada. And he has made no attempt because I haven't blocked him because I want him to call me because I want my money. Mm -hmm. So he has made no attempt to call me to say what he intend to do with my money. But even if... It was going to, because you can start off with a, a friendly conversation and you build up a, a relationship from there. Mm -hmm. But let me tell you something, Mix Up Boss. If I was even to say to get to like him, the things he tell me about private life and stuff with little young picnic girls, them, I wouldn't be interested. I wouldn't be interested when he was explicit when he tells me what young girls and him do that there is no way I would want a man like that because I've got grandchildren and I've got two daughters. So I wouldn't want a man around me that's going to be looking at my grand picnic them. But because I felt sorry and whatever, that's why. So I just wanted awareness to say, the scamming is not always about love. Do not feel sorry for people because they set them in hardship. You know, this, the, the love thing, you can fall in love and lose your head and you go all stupid and that. But there's other ways that people get money out of you. If they find out, say so you've got a heart. And you know what the weakness is? And I realized after every conversation, he put the boy in front of the phone. Oh, because that's the manipulation yes. that he was using. Right, right. True, true, true. Because he knew the work that I did. And he mm -hmm. knew if he's going to get to me. Because if he's going to use a love thing, that's not going to work. Because he knew from the start, I don't like old men. I mean, I trust cousin, though. Right. If, if a girl introduce a team, one way you say, 
Right, you know, the other day, I her. called her. I, tell her. I called her, yeah, I called her and I asked her if she's heard from him. And she said, let me tell you something. Don't ever mention his name to me again. And I find it surprising because previously when I said to her, have you heard from him, she'd be laughing. Mm. Then, But then she switched and became very serious and said, don't ever mention his name to me again. No, but she introduced her to him. So what she mean, you know, for him? So she had yeah. the only link you have to him, so you're entitled for him. Right. But as far, as far as I know, she never let on to him that she knew that I'd lent him money. She never discussed that. Which if it was me, and I introduced a friend to a cousin or a friend or whoever, and you did this, as soon as you tell me what the person did, I'll be on the phone and said, no, 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 right. no. You disgraced you. me and you disgraced yourself. Yeah, can I make it bad for your family? I, I would have to address it, you know, because mm -hmm. I don't like people to be used, you know, so... That's what I'm trying to say. I want to tell you his name, but I don't know if you're allowed. He's in the Calgary area of Canada. You can't give, me, for, give me first name. We don't want him last name. Don't see him first no, name. We didn't go by. It's think... Trevor. Trevor. And he used to live in yeah. Mandeville. He still has a big house in Mandeville. Mm -hmm. And according to him, you have one in Kingston. Mm -hmm. And he's in Canada, in the Calgary area of Canada. Right, no, I've never believe, been to Canada. I never believe half of it is someone I tell you, I know. But he has right. so, so we can't say, we can't say allegedly. He, he say, he right, allegedly, yeah. that's where he said he, he right. lived. You know, know, but I have got no way of contacting this person to get my money. 300,000 is a lot. I go to Jamaica oh, Holy for money, that man. Gee, I mean, and that's my spending money when I go to Jamaica. That's about almost two thousand pounds, don't? Yes, one thousand seven hundred. Mm -hmm. And in Canadian, it's two thousand nine hundred in Canadian. Because Canadian money is a lot lower. Well, right? you can't believe so you fall for the. That's a lot of money. You can't believe you fall for, for the. You fall for the trip the door. Right. So, sorry, you never. For me to have worked. Sorry, you never watched me show before. You never watched me show. Right. But you always talk about. You know, people investment and stuff and, and stuff. They send money to build house and and I know all those, but this this not me. Oh, I did look up and use, look up boy and get you, man. You look right. a disabled boy and use and get you. Oh, you know, God. but even so, I'm not saying I wouldn't be willing to lend someone money if they're in hardship. But if the minute you blocked me, that's when I knew all right. it was a scam. But listen to this now, because people are going to watch this and they might say, you don't know the man from Adams, like me, him in person. Right. You just talk on the phone and you lend him so much money. Lay him in a side for you, because you, you willfully take up money right. to lend man, and you don't meet man yet. You, you know what it was? I trusted the relative because she vouched for him and they grew up together. But what I realized together, I've got cousins that I grew up with in Jamaica, but they go their separate ways, Canada, America, England, whatever. If we were to meet up now, I don't know what you was doing in Canada or America for the past 40 years. Exactly. I can't vouch for you because we have the same bloodline. Facts. And that's when I realized afterwards she can't really vouch for him because she doesn't know him like that. So she doesn't you know, know him as a single, as a person with, with our companionship. So that's yeah, why. The, the, mm. One of the first things she said to me when she told me his age and he's going to call me or whatever, she said, she knows I'm wary of Jamaican men. And she said to me, he won't ask you for anything. He's the richest one in our family. You mm. hear me? Mm. He's the richest one in our family because he had his own business in Canada. He got host there, host there, all these possessions that he's supposed to have. So I didn't think money would come into that conversation at all. But you know what surprised yeah. me, age. I can't believe a 70 year old man behave like that. Normally, that this is the pattern of a, a younger person. That meant he's always done that. Yeah, you don't man. get to 70 and behave that, that way. Yeah, something where he's a pattern. You know and what I mean? And from the time his wow. niece asked him back for the money, the niece must have told other relative and they must have said, call your uncle and get your money back. For him to have borrowed it from Jamaica to pay back the niece. That means it's something in the family that they know is not to be trusted with money. Mm -hmm. Right? But friends not going to know that. Right. So the man in Jamaica that he claims, allegedly, because I don't know if it's true not or not if he's some man. Not more not money from man. me. Not so. Let me tell you how yeah. the man at work. You see, once you send her money and then get it easy, mm -hmm. then come up with a different lies and plan for your fall feet. You're lucky say you're right. strong enough to stop. Because if you didn't love with this man, 
and take it to a different level. You just a send, 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 send. Every week you'd have your send. Till I come mad. Because I tell you, say, food now in a house and a little picnic. Right. You eat and, you know, frata come out and mouth and, but I don't know what I'm going to do. And you're going to get soft again and say, how much, how much for food and you send much money for buy one month for a grocery. And that's why I'm going to milk you. Yeah. Mm. Maybe the $300,000 uh, there, maybe I think you'll fly, go back to Canada for in fear. Just say. Could possibly do that. Just say. So, mm. You know, even if, even if I don't get that money back and I've made up my mind that I won't get it back, you know what? It won't kill me. Mm -hmm. It won't kill me. Everybody's got a conscience and if it's even on his deathbed, he's going to know what he's done because I can't be the only one. He must have done this to other people wow. and to live like that and to run away and gone back wherever he's gone. So it's just to know that I'm a kind person. I'm never going to change because this is the way I am. But I'll be more cautious. Yeah? I'll have more evidence. Feel a way, though. Feel a way, feel. I tell her, yeah, yeah. I feel really right. hurt. Cause Even the police lady at Mandeville that I saw in the fraudulent department, when I told her about the car, she said, no car could have hit that hard part. Two, the two vehicles would have to be moving. The way the front of the car did mash up, she mm -hmm. said the two vehicles would have to be moving for him to have said he parked the car. And I said, yeah, that's cool. what I'm putting the pieces together mm -hmm. after mm -hmm. to say this wasn't true, that wasn't true, that wasn't true. You know, so suppose it was somebody I was interested in because the man was asking me about my house. You know why, you? I, Hold on. You know? You see, moment, I have to always remember this. You come here, I can't turn around psychiatrists are one of them big people, they advise people. Let <laughs> me tell you this, you see, moment he start telling about how he might do to a young girl, right. how a young girl do to him, he's not interested in our mature woman right. like you. And that suit me because I wasn't interested in him either, but to think... No, I just said, going forward, going forward, if mm. you I talk to a man, what you like and hear mention about young girl and what you do, and age type of girl, right. just use it and say, he's not really interested. At that time, fantasy. Like older that. women. No. So, him, 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 all a woman is telling himself, so, wow, this is a money machine. So, I'm going to just name her out. I'll and tell I mean, you what happened one day. Uh, he sent me a picture of a girl. He said, this girl sent me a picture, but I don't know her. The girl cut off her head, but she was in underwear. Skimpy little underwear. And she sent him a picture. Mm. Him said, I don't know her. So, I sent a message to her to let me see her face. Mm. And she sent a picture of her face and he still don't know her. Pretty little half coolie girl, but you can see she's also young. Mm. So I said to him, so you don't know this girl and she randomly sent your picture and you didn't shut it down. Mm. You're encouraging it. Something's wrong with you. Mm. But what I thought of realized, must be a friend of hers that's had dealings with him and get money all the time. Mm -hmm. So she feels it's her turn now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so she sent him a picture first with no head, just body, and that will entice him now. And you know what I said, them type of it... man there, then can't do nothing with them hood, only them more, then can maybe profile. Right. Mm -hmm. so in those because movies. that's that, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So I was never going to be interested in him in a romantic way because you couldn't send me a picture like that if he was interested in me that way. Right. But he saw me as. I've lived in England most of my life. Yeah, I'm man. now not working. English. So he figured out he could get something from yeah, me. No man, English what? Jimmy, can you light up like pepper light? Right? Because the young girls them out there rub him off and the little money went go out there for last in the rest of him life now. Not no did it. No, no money, man. In gallo to money. So man. he feels that he finds some stupid but one thing I'm not, I'm kind and I've got a good heart, but I'm not a fool. Well you need to slow down for the kindness now. Can you learn yeah. the hard way? Yeah, I used to people that, that you lose right. 700 pounds in a day, my time. You know how much, you know much hours, you know much hours you have to do to make that in England? Right. I've been putting away for my pension since I was young. Because I don't want to be old and suffer. Mm -hmm. When I was young, I was right. young and, and struggling with, with children. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be old and, and struggle. Mm -hmm. I want to I wanna be old and be able to travel where I want to go, buy a ticket, go off and go about my business. Right. Right. And that's why I don't fool around no man. I don't bother with them because I can stand on my own two feet and look after myself. Mm -hmm. I'm very attractive. I'm a beautiful woman in my 60s. I turn heads mm -hmm. still when I walk. You have to I send me. Man, you have to send me one picture. You have to send me one picture. I don't know if I show you that. Because you know I'm honest. Of course. Yeah. It, I, I walk the street and I get stopped. Nearly every time I go out, I don't have to come to Jamaica to find a man or go nowhere right here. You know, do not uh, wrong, my friend. You never 
join the you relationship know? to talk to the man like no. you just see that talk as a friend and maybe just maybe if you take a, a turn you might consider it based right. on the pattern if it if but it the, was a decent person yeah, but the pattern and everything, changed, i would yeah, forget man. about the age then even though i don't want somebody that age right if the conversation changed and he was a nice person mm -hmm. and i meet up with him and i liked him he could have moved from there right but from you start telling me about young girl, what you do and what you've never had it that good for all your life and mm -hmm. all that, why would I want you? Mm -hmm. I wouldn't. I wouldn't want you. And from the time you're sending me picture and telling me what you do, obviously you never want me neither. You just want to get into my bank account. Right, right. You know. So it's it's just a cautionary tale that we can get fooled even if romance is not involved. If you're just a nice, kind person, people can see that and hear that mm -hmm. and use it. You know, and it's a so, lesson, and it's a lesson to, to older women. Enough women come on my program course. and say that they don't want a young boy, they want a man 70, 65. Be weird, they can scam it up. They're just as bad because you so, tell me you're wicked from your 30 and your 40, you're not going to suddenly change when you're 70. The same <laughs> wickedness is inside you. Mm -hmm. You're going to be the same person, whether you was a gallus when you was young, you're still going to be the same. Whether you was a thief or whatever, you're still going to be the same because it's your personality and it's who you are. Mm -hmm. So it's not going to change, you know? Mm -hmm. So whoever want to think that I'm stupid, yes, uh, you know, I've lost a lot before people are gonna and I understand, get it back. People are going to understand and people are going to comment and say, lady, you're a fool. And, but I saw you, I saw you next right. to Now watch that. Yeah, the greatest thing, what yeah, you want no to happen? More than mine, hear the story. I know say your name, I can't call him name again. I'm it's Trevor. Him. Trevor. He's, ah. Yeah, he's originally from St. Elizabeth, but he lives in Mandeville. Trevor. And sometimes Canada. So you ever see a, so, you ever see a, a, a picture of him on him, look? The only picture he sent me was with his son. Um, so that's why I don't really want to send you the picture because his no. son is on it. But when we talk, it's always FaceTime. So I see his face all the time. And it's not someone I'll be attracted Have you ever seen a mop of uh, um, London Underground or Fuller Lines? No, I mean, never really seen. You've never seen a picture because you know we move around London by the underground, the train system. Mm -hmm. So you can imagine the line goes north, south, west, and it. I saw him feels full of line like the underground train station map. He ain't got my 70s, so he's not going to look like me and you. <laughs> <laughs> well, me and you, well, I'm, I'm not far from 70, but I don't have lines running in my face like that, mm -hmm. like underground map. All boy, so, all boy, I chop a man. So, <laughs> Uh, anyway, um, this is just a cautionary tale. Mm -hmm. It's not for anybody to criticize and feel sorry. Just beware that someone can live in a country for 50 years and come to Jamaica and say them have things and them don't really have nothing. Nothing. Rough pocket. Really, them just lie. You know? True. So any of us can be fooled or be scammed at any given time. They just have to find your weakness. And he found my weakness with his son. Mm hmm because he's not a small boy, he's a 30 year old young man, mm -hmm. but he doesn't speak and, and that, you know? So mm -hmm. he used that because he knew what my job was. Mm -hmm. I was a special needs teacher. Oh, wow. So he knew I'm gonna have a fondness for that mm -hmm. sort of person, you know? So beware, people find out, he might have done his research. He might have found out who, all about me <laughs> and know that. I, I, I would be generous like that because he, he, he used my weakness. So it's not necessarily love that make people do stupid things. You can just be a kind, kind. person. Uh, true, true, true. Yeah, man. People can call you a Jamaican who have family member who live overseas and then call them and tell them be a lie and can them too and scam them. Yeah. So I see him for the same. Six, six, six. You know? Um, yeah. yeah, yeah. But mm -hmm. I enjoy your show. I yes. listen. I yes. have a laugh sometimes and whatever. But... It, I will keep you updated if he gets in touch and if you pay me the money back. Yeah, man, definitely. So I'll definitely let you know. Definitely. All right? Yeah, man. And thank you for listening. Same to you, old guys, and you hear it for yourself. Well, I hope you lady get back some of her money because them something that wickedness. Hey, every day I learn something more about this channel there. Yo, I tell you, people, up up on your eye and learn. Big up on yourself. Me there. Me I come live. Love you Like your video, feminine man. Go in there, comment and comment. What do you think about this? Let me know.